ladies and gentlemen, it's Pop Kelly Geek. I am back. Today I'm going to do another Mod Organizer 2 uh, tutorial. This is for people that are just starting out. If you're a veteran of Mod Organizer 2, of course, this will not apply to you. This is for people that are switching over and are having a little bit of difficulty with some of these. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to install Fallout 4 Edit and Skyrim Special Edition Edit into your Mod Organizer. So what you're going to do is you're going to upload both of them. I have Fallout 4 and I have the Skyrim. So what you're going to do before you start it is you're going to come to your desktop and you're going to create two new folders. The first one is going to be FO4 Edit and the second one is going to be SSE edit so now you have those two folders created on your desktop and you're going to go back to here and what you're going to do is you're going to look up the follow up for edit and you can come over here to file and you're going to manually download that once that's done then you're going to come over here to Skyrim special edition and the exact same thing, come down to file, click manual download. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your downloads folder. And you're going to right click on each one. Extract files. And then you're going to go to your desktop. And you're going to look for those ones. So which one did I just do first? Merge. Okay. So I'm going to look for my SSE edit folder. And press OK. What it will do now is it will extract it to that folder. Come over to your Fallout 4 edit. And exact same thing. Extract files. Go to your desktop. Look for your Fallout 4 edit file that you made. And press OK. Now you can close that. Now just double check inside your folders that what you need is in there. And what we are looking for is we're looking for this one right here. It's quick auto clean. So now that we have both of those downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to come up to our mod organizer too. I'm going to do the uh, Fallout 4 because that's what I have open right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up. Uh, okay. Just give me a second. There we go. Yeah. Come up to Tools. Come to Executables. Then you're going to click on this little plus sign. And you're going to say Add from File. Come over to your desktop. Click on your Fallout 4 Edit. Open that up. And what you're going to come down to is your Fallout 4 Quick Auto Clean EXE. You're going to click on that. Hit Open. Make sure that it is all here. You're going to hit apply and OK. Now that you have it installed, we're going to continue with this one and then I'll go to the Skyrim. Now you come up here to shortcuts. Now you've got two choices. Well, first you've got to highlight it here. And then you have two choices. You can send it to the desktop as a shortcut. Or what I like to do, I go to toolbar and menu. And what it does is it puts it all right up here on the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Skyrim Special Edition, Restart Mod Organizer. And then we're going to do basically the exact same thing as what we did with the Fallout 4. So we just give that a second. A little cloudy, isn't it? What is going on here? Not responding. Yeah, you'll get that. So now we're going to do the exact same thing. Come up to Tools, Executables. Click on the plus sign, install, Add from File. Go back to our desktop. Open up our follow, uh, Skyrim Special Edition. Click on the Quick Auto Clean. 
open. Make sure everything is correct. Hit apply and then hit OK. Come over here. Highlight it. And then again, it was a shortcut. You can do it to the desktop or you can go to the toolbar. I'm going to put it up here in the toolbar. So that's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you get your Fallout 4 and your Skyrim Special Edition edits into your Mod Organizer 2. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone loves you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right. And hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.